The Great White Shark, an apex predator that's very existence installs fear in everything from seals to dolphins and even smaller whales. As formidable as this titan of the ocean is, they have been fleeing their hunting grounds off the coast of South Africa in significant numbers and in turn altering the very balance of the ecosystem. With the largest females reaching up to 20 feet or just over 6 meters in length and weighing in at 5,000 pounds or just over 2,000 kilograms, the great white zeroes in on its prey using its keen sense of smell, all the while boasting an astonishing bite force of around 4,000 psi. Their hunting strategy is thought to be to inflict devastating damage upon their initial strike and then fall back and let their prey weaken before returning to consume the victim. It is hard to imagine such a well-equipped predator being forced into retreat. However, researchers are seeing just that off the coast of South Africa, roughly 60 miles or 100 kilometers east of Cape Town. The orca trumps the great white in both size and weight and although never accurately measured, researchers put the killer whale's bite force at more than four times that of the white shark at a whopping 19,000 psi based on the results of incidents involving captive orca. However, the deadliest tool at the orca's disposal is not brawn, but its brain. Since 2017, eight great white sharks have washed up dead on the shores of South Africa with bite marks inflicted by orcas seven of which had their livers removed with almost surgical precision while the rest of the shark was mostly untouched. Some also had their hearts removed. At first glance taking down a great white just to eat its liver and discard the rest seems like a lot of energy spent for little reward. However the great white's liver can weigh close to 1000 pounds or 450 kilograms and is full of nutritious oils and the orca knows to work smarter, not harder. They have been witnessed flipping sharks upside down and holding them there for up to 15 minutes. Doing this uses the shark's own anatomy against it and places them in a paralytic state known as tonic immobility. Once immobilized, the orca tears the shark's pectoral fin off, exposing their liver. This assassin-like accuracy can likely be attributed to the orca's use of echolocation, which not only gives it a mental image of the objects around it, but also what's inside them. Despite efforts from conservation groups, orca numbers around the world continue to decline and humans are at the root of it. It is even believed that the reason behind orcas hunting great whites may be due to the reduction in prey availability. This has a knock-on effect for the whole ecosystem as other species move in during the great whites absence. We can only hope that increased awareness and conservation efforts can turn around the damage we have caused so that we can continue to coexist and learn from these incredible animals for many generations to come.